Hello guys, this video aims to give you insight on how you, you can quickly remove this risky software and any risky software from your Mac. This video is going to be separated into two parts. First one is automatic removal and then I'm going to guide you through manual removal steps and how you can remove it from your browsers as well. Before we begin watching the video and before I take you through the steps, I want you to know that you should always use trustworthy sources when you follow instructions and make sure that these are real people because many video makers and websites may only be after your money. So let's get on with the video shall we? First off is the automatic removal. For the automatic removal we're gonna be using the help of a powerful anti-malware software for Mac. You're gonna open the video and you're gonna click on the description below. It has a link you have to click that link guys and this link is going to take you through your tailor-made removal article. There you will find a download button which you should click. It's going to take you to the download page of this software. The download should begin automatically. When the download is finished simply open the installer and it will open a pop-up window. When you see this pop-up window guys simply click on it, double click on the icon and this will run the installer. When the installer has been ran on your computer, uh, you have to click on open and then simply what you have to do is follow the steps. Uh, click on continue and then click on I accept and consent and then install. And that's it, easy as that. It's going to install the software and when it uh, installs this program on your computer, uh, it's going to run automatically and uh, basically that's it for the installation of this software uh, it's super easy and when it's done you have to click on start scan now to begin any scans and this software is gonna detect any unwanted software it could take some time but it's for good because it's scanning your max file system and it's looking for every threat and when it's done you have to simply get, you gotta click on next and click on select all objects and proceed. For this video I'm just clicked on ignore just to show you that it removes malware and then you can select which unwanted software you can want, you want to specifically remediate. And as you can see here it says issues remediated and then you click on finish and that's it guys you're done. That's how you work with this program and it can help you to remove this software uh, automatically. For the manual removal process I'm gonna take you through how you can remove this software from the applications. First you click on go and then you go to applications and then you're gonna find any apps uh, and then you're gonna drag them to your bin. That's it. Any apps that are suspicious should go this way. Uh, if they don't go you can close them as a process by clicking on go and clicking on utilities and then clicking on activity monitor. This will open your activities and you can see that uh, some programs have processes that are unfamiliar and suspicious. Your job is to look for those processes and when you find them simply you have to mark them with your mouse and click on force quit process. That's easy as that guys. You can see mark with your mouse and click on force quit and basically that's how it's done. So your next job is to remove this nasty software from your browsers. To do that for Google Chrome you're going to open Chrome and you're going to type in the address bar Chrome double slash settings double slash clear browser data and it's going to open the clear browser data on Chrome and when it does that you're going to go to all time you're going to select all time and you're going to select everything except passwords do not tick passwords and then click on clear data and basically that will clear any cookies any trackers that may be tracking you, any browsers that browser hijackers and so on. Then you're gonna remove any extensions by clicking on more tools and extensions. This will open the extensions and you can select any extensions that are suspicious and remove them by clicking on remove. And it's as easy as that uh, to clean Google Chrome. The next browser I'm gonna show you is Safari browser. You're gonna open Safari and you're gonna swipe on the Safari drop down menu and you're gonna click on Safari and then we're gonna click on preferences and then you see the home page and you see that here it's changed you're gonna set it to the current page 
or set it to any page you would like it to be then you click on search and this will allow you to change your search back to your default search and then click on extensions and click on uninstall on any extension that you find unfamiliar or suspicious it's going to take you to the applications where you can once again drag it to your bin and that's how you clean up safari basically oh yeah it's going to ask you to type password which is an administrative action uh, and that's it for mozilla firefox you're going to open firefox and you're going to go to the top right corner click on the drop down menu and click on add-ons this is going to open the firefox add-ons you're going to see there uh, some suspicious extensions you simply can disable them and then you can remove them by clicking on the three dots and remove it's as easy as that and this is how you get rid of suspicious extensions that show ads then you're going to go and refresh firefox by typing about double dot support and hitting enter this will open the support window and then you will locate a button called refresh firefox which you have to click and then you have to click on refresh firefox again and this is gonna refresh firefox as you can see here it takes a bit of time to do uh, and when it's done firefox will open a window and say success or say you're running the latest version of firefox like it's shown here and basically that's it you say congratulations and so on and that's it for Firefox basically guys. Uh, the next browser I'm going to take you through is Microsoft Edge. Uh, you're going to do is open Edge browser and just like Chrome you're going to type Edge double slash and then double slash settings and then slash clear browser data which is going to open a very similar menu because Edge is based on Chrome and then you're going to click on all time and you're gonna tick everything of course except passwords because if you've saved any passwords they're gonna be gone if you tick it and then you're gonna click on clear now and basically that takes care of edge next up is opera for opera browser it's also based on chromium so you're gonna open opera and then you're gonna go to the address bar and then you're gonna click on opera you're gonna type opera settings and then clear browser data it's gonna open a very similar to Edge and Chrome menu in which you're gonna basically select at first advanced and then select all time after that uh, tick on absolutely everything and then clear data remember guys don't tick passwords it's not a good idea unless you don't care and basically that's it guys uh, thank you for watching subscribe if you like this video hit the like button and uh, comment make sure to respond very fast so ask us any questions you'd like thank you for watching guys